y'all i just got off of work and i'm going to kind of take you guys through my evening night routine my 5 to 9 p.m type of routine so it's currently 5 20 i just finished working i do have a couple errands that i need to run i need to go to the wine store to grab something i love he needs to go to usps but i think they close at five or do they close at six? Yep, they're closed. So we're not doing that today. I need to head to the wine store to pick up a, pick up a box of champagne bottles for an event that I'm hosting coming up. So yeah. But before I go, I went ahead and took out my dinner for the night. We're eating salmon tonight. Um, I do not like eating out during the week. Like I tried to make a priority that I cook during the week. So. We're gonna cook when I get back. Let's go ahead and head to the store. Hey y'all, so I'm in a car and this is actually really, 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 really ghetto that I'm doing this, but I need to post a YouTube video and my wife probably be going in and out and it works the best at the least in office. So I'm sitting here in my car at the least in office and we're gonna post my YouTube video. <laughs> oh, one second y'all. My YouTube videos are posted. Make sure you guys go check it out. And now we can head to Total Wine to get what I need. And we need to hurry back home because, yeah. <laughs> to all my girlies who are trying to potentially start a business or you want to do something other than your nine to five, you have other desires that you want to do outside of work, you really have to take advantage of your evenings. You really have to take advantage of your 5 p.m. to your 9 p.m. Because if you don't, you won't get anything done. Coming from a girl who used to be so tired after work, didn't do anything after work, I literally felt like a failure. There, I, I accomplished nothing. I really just like to take advantage of my evening time. So you're gonna see that a lot within this video. So definitely stay tuned. I just got the total wine. So let's go in here and get what we need. Hey y'all, so I just got back home. My valet trash people just came, so unfortunately I took the trash out. I literally hate taking out the trash. It's currently like six something, so we're doing good as far as like timing. I do own a business for those who do not know, so I do like to take the time um, after work to handle some business items, and I do have one order to pack, so let's go pack this order. Just printed out the shipping label. This person ordered two body suits, one large white and one medium nude. So I want to go ahead and gather those items so I can go ahead and close out my office for the day. Order is all packed up and ready to go. I'm just gonna leave it on the kitchen counter so I can grab it in the morning and I'll try to go to the post office before I head to work in the morning. It's currently 6.52. I like to shower before I cook dinner. That way after I'm eating, after I'm done eating, I can literally just get in the bed. This is something about eating and being full. Food makes me really, really sleepy. So let's go ahead and head to the bathroom. Let's take this makeup off, do my skin hair get into my shower routine, and then we'll be ready to cook some dinner because I'm definitely hungry, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and put my hair in some flexi rods so I don't have to worry about it for tomorrow. <laughs> the thing is, I only have four flexi rods. It's like my flexi rods are like socks. Like I lose them and I don't know where they go. I'm just gonna put two on each side. Put one big one right here, one right here, and just do it like that. 
looks crazy in the morning. I can just fix with my curling iron. And for my girlies who like to wake up early in the morning, you need to invest in some flexi rods or um, just something that's easy for you to do your hair in the mornings because that takes up most of my mornings. My hair and my makeup take up majority of my mornings. So having these helps tremendously especially if you wake up late on accident you ain't even gotta worry about your hair I know I look crazy, but anything for the beauty, okay? Anything to uphold the beauty. So I do like to take my makeup off and do my whole skincare routine, but if I wear makeup to work, I like to use my oil cleanser before I get in the shower, and then I'll do my full skincare routine afterwards. So I just feel like the steam helps get the makeup fully off your face. This is the Tatcha oil cleanser that I use. It's literally perfect. So all over my face see how the makeup is just coming off automatically yeah get you an oil cleanser especially for my dry skin girlies anything with oil or that's going to bring more moisture to your face to not see now let's set the mood and get in the shower moisturizing products. I stick with CeraVe. This is what I've been using for my moisturizer. And I stick with Tatcha for my cleansers. Try it. I do miss my toner pads. I do want to go back and get my toner pads off of Amazon. Um, but that's all I need, y'all. I don't... And my skin is pretty... Um, clear. <laughs> so, just for thought. This is the deodorant I've been using. Like, I've tried a lot of stuff. I've tried Dove. I've tried um, Secret. But this keeps me smelling good all day. And it's not expensive deodorant. I try Native. Don't recommend. Because I was smell. I, I tried Native. I smell myself. I said, that's me? Girl, I threw that. I threw it away so fast. So, this is really, really well. And it lasts a very long time. And it's not expensive. It's one of the cheaper deodorants. This is all you need. Now, it's getting a little cold outside, so I have switched up my skincare routine, as y'all know, or if you do not know, if you're new here, I have super dry skin with eczema, so before I go to bed every night, I have to really, really moisturize so I can wake up moisturized and not wake up ashy, okay? This combo right here, is unmatched okay let me tell you what i do let me tell you what i do i always put the smell good lotion by itself on my arms 
get a little bit of this, put it on my hand, and one pump of EOS. Mix that bad boy together. Vaseline, basically, but better. <laughs> and I just put it all over my body and it's literally perfect. Oh, it's 7 38 it's definitely time to cook dinner i've been on a little healthy kick lately i'm eating like a corn i'm doing like a corn salsa with rice and like a teriyaki sweet and sour salmon i've been on a healthy kick lately because i feel like my body has been giving me giving me a little bit of warning signs that something may be wrong and usually when something may be wrong the first thing that you need to do is change your diet so I'm gonna change my diet. It's not super, I don't think nothing's like crazy wrong, but like I just been having a little swelling and like my feet and stuff and diabetes and high blood pressure definitely runs in my family. So I have to be super duper 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 duper, duper cautious. And I'm getting older now. I have to realize that I'm getting older and everything is not gonna always be the same. So yeah, let's cook, period. And I like to cook with some jams or YouTube. Um, video on so I think we're gonna cook with a little Aaliyah's faces today so let's do it activity because my parents were in town last week i bought sprites for them it's some leftover it got to get out the fridge somehow somewhere we're not gonna let it go away so we're gonna have a sprite with this meal because i feel like this craves sprite so we're gonna drink sprite and it's a mini it's not even a full can so it's still healthy kind of <laughs> And y'all really should be proud of me because I actually had some wine, some rosé in the fridge and I like to cook and sit at the same time. But I'm trying to eat healthier. So I'm like, girl, you can drink on, only on the weekends, not during the week. Yeah. Let's eat. While I eat dinner, I like to watch my favorite shows. So the show of the day is SWAT. SWAT got a new season. So we're going to eat our dinner and watch SWAT and then go from there. This tea table is a super lazy thing to have, but it's the best thing to have. And I eat dinner on it all the time. <laughs> I just had to let y'all know that this is my second plate. When I tell y'all, the food ate down the food ate down it was so good 
And then come to find out the YouTube video that I posted earlier, it was only 10 seconds. I posted the wrong video. Luckily, one of my subscribers, thank you so much, commented and was like, do you know this is only 10 seconds? And when I first read the comment, I was like, is she trying to be funny? Because I was thinking about the TikTok where they're like, do you know you only have 30 seconds? I mean, do you know you only have 30 minutes? Yeah, like I thought she was making a joke, but then I went to go look at the video. I'm like, oh. So it only had 25 views. It's totally fine. I deleted it and I'm reposting um, the new video. So it's all good in the hood. Um, I'm about to finish eating and finish watching my show. It is currently 8.58. Around this time, usually after dinner, I don't like to do too much, but I'm gonna just like plan my content a little bit and figure out <clears throat> some things for my business on my laptop. Just kind of brain dump a little bit and write some stuff out, but I'm probably just gonna eat dinner, clean up the kitchen, and then, um, relax for the rest of the night let me finish eating my food and um yeah this kitchen is a mess and i'm trying to get in a good habit of cleaning and shutting down the house before i go to bed i do not like washing dishes yeah but i gotta do what i gotta do and we're about to clean up and put everything up i do have corn salsa left and a piece of salmon. I did that on purpose because I'm gonna make a salmon salad tomorrow and the corn sauce, I'm just gonna put it in my salad. So when I cook dinner at night, I like to make enough for me to have a lunch for tomorrow so I can not waste my money. <laughs> um, food was busting, now it's time to clean up, period. And it's, we're doing good on time, it's like 9.30ish. So hopefully I can be done with the kitchen in like 15 to 20 minutes. It shouldn't take me long at all. worm in me or something like why am I always hungry and no I'm not pregnant I just be hungry anyways let's brush our teeth and also I'm thinking about getting braces again maybe Invisalign but ever since I got my braces done I've been wearing my I, I want to say I've been wearing but I've been trying to keep wearing my retainers because they don't tell you this but when you get braces and you get those retainers you're supposed to wear those retainers to bed every night for the rest of your life if you don't, your teeth will shift. In a sense, if you don't wear your retainers, all the money you spend on braces will go down the drain. So um, I'm trying to do that a little bit more. I used to do it a lot, but I kind of slowed down <laughs> just a little bit. But yeah. I talk really funny with these, <laughs> so I won't be talking much after, after this. Contacts. This is the real me. <laughs> Before I go to bed, I do like to kind of plan out my day for tomorrow. I don't plan it out fully, but I just like to get a good little sense of, excuse me, <laughs> my retainers. I just want to get a good sense of, um, how my day is gonna start and what it's imperative. 
so yeah i'm writing down my to-do list of what i know i need to do tomorrow tomorrow's also friday so hopefully i don't have to do too much and yeah it's currently 10 34 that's all i'm about to sit here and do i kind of changed up my night routine i used to read my books at night but i no longer do that i read my book in the morning i realized when i was reading my book at night i wasn't focused i wasn't i was sleepy it just wasn't oh so my nights really consist of planning for the next day scrolling on tiktok and watching my favorite show um i try to do so much during the day that at night time i really want to find time to really wind down as y'all can see i was non-stop after work i had to pack an order i had to cook i had to clean i had to shower feed myself i had to go run an errand so there's a lot that goes into it but i have to do those things i have to be busy in my evening routine because i have stuff that i'm trying to accomplish and sometimes you just have to do it in order to get it done and it is what it is but this is generally how my evening routine goes nothing has really changed this is my normal non-busy evening i hope you guys enjoyed this video like i said before for all my girlies who work at nine to five you're trying to find another stream of income or you're focused on your dream your afternoons is what's going to help you thrive you have to take advantage of your evenings and your weekends because trying to do work while you're at work it's just so overwhelming and I, that used to be me. I used to try to do everything while I was at work. Anytime I got free time at work, I would be doing other things. But I kind of stopped that. One, it was taking me away from my actual work at work. And I was just too stressed out. So I just allocate time after work to work on certain things. To try to not burn myself out. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm gonna sit here and plan and probably scroll on tiktok for a little minute it's 10 30 i'm hoping to be asleep in an hour and a half ish hopefully pray for me <laughs> but yeah make sure you guys like comment and subscribe my pajamas are from my store so make sure you guys go check them out and i will see you guys in the next video bye